All right, today we're going to talk about um, bacillus anthracis, or um, what's commonly known as anthrax. And so this is a gram-positive um, rod. So here's our rod. There's our um, cell wall. And what's unique about this is its cell wall is not made of peptidoglycan. Instead, it's made of polydeglutamic acid. And so it's going to be the only human pathogen who uses a protein cell wall. Um, it's also an endospore. So here's our uh, consolidated DNA. And uh, this particular bacteria likes to hang out on the hides and wool of animals. So let's just turn this into a um, sheep real quick. All right. So the way that this is transferred to humans is um, primarily by contact. And so what happens is there's cutaneous, um, GI, and respiratory transmission. So let's talk about cutaneous first. Let's say this guy gets a little cut, and he goes over and pets Mr. Sheep. And what happens is um, you're going to have bacteria coming in. And uh, as soon as they get into um, the wound, because it's 37 degrees and there's an increase in protein, um, they're going to germinate. And once they germinate, they'll pr start producing exotoxin. Okay, And the exotoxin looks something like this. All right, It's going to have one half that's kind of like a key connected one half that's like a gun. All right, and this is just a mnemonic. So the key is called protective antigen. All right, and the protective antigen is going to allow for binding and entry into cells. The gun it has two parts. It's called lethal factor and edema factor. Okay, lethal factor pretty simply just kills the cell that's in there. Uh, edema factor is going to increase your concentration of cyclic AMP, and that's going to cause dysregulation of fluids causing edema. So what happens when this is all together and done is at this site, you're going to get what starts as a small papule from infection, is going to grow necrotic tissue like that, and there's going to be a ring of edematous tissue around. Okay? So, next we have uh, GI. So let's turn this little guy into um, an intestine. So, um, instead of going right there, we're going to have this go into the GI system. Uh, maybe from eating some contaminated meat, something like that. And you have the little bacteria come in here, and again, as soon as they get into the body, they're going to start germinating, producing the ex uh, exotoxin, and what you're going to get is uh, little necrotic uh, lesions on your intestine, and also dysregulation of fluid, which is going to cause you to have uh, diarrhea and inflammation of your intestines. Okay, the last method is going to be called, or is going to be from um, inspiration of these endospores. So what happens is um, the bacteria come in, you res inspire them. Turn this into a set of lungs here. So they're going to come in here. Um, this is called wool sorters disease. So maybe this guy is a shepherd, and uh, he is going to inspire. This is called wool sorters disease, one word. So the bacteria are going to come in right here, and as they get into the alveoli, what's going to happen is macrophages are going to eat them. So here we go. Turn this into a little macrophage. Okay, the macrophages are going to take these guys and bring them into the mediastinal lymph nodes. Once they're in the lymph nodes, they'll germinate, like we talked about before, and they'll break out of these macrophages and start producing exotoxin. Once they're in the exotoxin, this is a very, or once they produce the exotoxin, this is a very vascular area. What will happen is you're going to get bacteria and exotoxin spilling systemically and give you bacteremia. Another thing that's going to happen is you're going to start having uh, cell death, which is going to uh, result in hemorrhage. Okay, so here's your heart right around here and here's your mediastinum. When you take a plain film of this, due to the fluid and uh, bleeding, what you'll see is hemorrhage around your mediastinum, so this will expand, and you're also going to see uh, pleural effusion from fluids building up in your lungs. So that on a plain film is what you'll see. So that's a review of uh, bacteria and um, its pathogene uh, pathogenetic factors and um, 